the timer. Dr. Muhammad, uh, you will be presenting yes. and Dr. Fatima is helping you, okay? Sure, no problem. Right. Okay, I've started the timer and here is the question. Okay, if you've read and understood, kindly begin your history taking. You will be given six minutes to take your history. Time begins now, please. Sure. So I'll walk in. Hello, uh, my name is Mohammed, one of the surgical doctors here. How can I help you one today? One of the exam candidate, yes. Yeah. How can I help? Hello, um, doctor. I've been having um, um, leg pain for the past uh, uh, few days, severe pain on both my legs while walking. I went for a short distance and then um, it's associated with uh, the cold weather. So I came here for help. Hi, and can I confirm your name and age, please? Um, my name is um, uh, Fatima, I'm 43 years old. Um, my name is uh, Luke. I am 43 years old. Sure. So the pain is in both of the legs and it's increased when you walk. Yes, doctor. When you're walking. Um, yes, is, is there anything that makes the pain worse or better? Um, when I am walking, it gets worse. But when I am sitting down, and then the uh, pain is better. That's right. All right, and it's the same severity in both legs, left and right. Yes, yes, doctor. Fine. And the pain is it only confined to your foot, or is it your leg, or is it your knees, or is it above that? Where exactly in your foot, or your leg? Doctor, it's, it's, it's just it's just my leg. Fine. Sure. Um. Is, and if, if you walk um, for 50 meters or is it uh, 100 meters or is it uh, two blocks, how, how long do you have to walk for it to start hurting? Like I said before, just after 50 meters. After it, 50 meters, it, it starts hurting. Fine. And then um, is there anything like cold weather or hot weather that causes it to be um, painful or? And doctor, when the place is cold, it hurts a lot. It pains a lot. Sure. And um, and if you if you start having the pain, you rest and then it goes away. Is that correct? Yes, it decreases. The pain goes down. It does not stop completely, but it goes down. Fine. And how long has this been going on for? Okay, it's been for a while now. Like one month, two months? Two days? Uh, about two one months. Week. Two months? All right. About two months. About that. And what has brought you to us today if it's been going on for two months? Is it becoming worse? Because of... Yeah. Yes, it's becoming worse, doctor. That's why I'm here today. That's it's all right. Do you have any other medical illnesses? Are you diabetic or do you have any high blood pressure or have you had any strokes in the past or anything um, that you take regularly medications doctor. for? Doctor? No, doctor, none that I know of. Nothing at all. Have you had any surgeries in the past? No surgeries before. All right. And what do you do for a living? 
like what do you do for a living? I am a, I am a mason. Sorry. Teacher. I am a mason. I just work as teacher. Okay, I am a teacher. Anything. All right. Okay. And so you're an active. Uh, you have an active work style, lifestyle. Yes. All right. And um, as anyone in the family that. has any issues uh, with their legs or um, anybody in the family has a similar complaint? No, doctor. I am the first person that has this complaint. Okay. And uh, are you living with your family or do you live alone? Yes, I live with my family. With your family. And are they well? Yes, they are all fine. No oh, one and do you live in a, a flat or an apartment or do you live a, in a house? I live in a house. In a house and then do you need to climb the stairs? Um, yes, uh, just one floor. Okay, any problems doing that? <clears throat> yes, I do have some um, intermittent um, um, pain when climbing usually. Sure. Having Do you smoke? Do you smoke at all? Yes, I do smoke. Yes, I do smoke. How many cigarettes per day? About a pack a day. And how long, for how long have you been smoking a pack per day? For more than 20 years. Okay, all right. And um, do you drink alcohol at all? Occasionally. Oh, and any recreational drugs or any IV drugs? No, doctor. Sure, okay. Do you have any, um, any questions for me? Anything you want to add? Mm -hmm. So, doctor, what are you going to do about my pain? It's very, very severe. That's why I am here. How, how would you help me? Fine. So, we will, we, we will do some blood tests. And we will also get a scan, possibly, of your lower limb. And uh, then we'll take it from there. Mm -hmm. All right? Doctor, what is lower limb? Sorry? What is lower limb? Your your legs. I said, doctor, what is lower limb? You said you have a scan of my lower limb. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. yeah. Can All you right. present your case now? <laughs> yeah. So this is a forty-three-year-old um, gentleman who uh, works as a chef. He's presented to us with two months' history of um, uh, lower limb claudication after walking for fifty meters. Yes. Uh, that is relieved by rest and exacerbated by walking. Uh, he's a smoker of 20 pack years and, um, and does not drink alcohol uh, and has no significant uh, family uh, history of, um, of vascular or... or, or um, okay, so what is your disease. differential diagnosis? So my differential diagnosis is... Um, uh, ischemic uh, peripheral vascular disease okay, um, okay. Um, given the fact that it's been uh, it's a two months history uh, it could be um, could also be uh, so most likely it's peripheral vascular disease but when I ask you differential diagnosis you <laughs> yeah. must give me at least four could be even disc prolapse maybe this prolapse yes. could be this prolapse could be, could be um, spinal canal stenosis could be even could be arthritis or, yes be arthritis. All right. how would you differentiate yeah. uh, between uh, vascular claudication and spinal vascular claudication will will um, will uh, will be relieved by rest um, and uh, spinal claudication will will be persistent i would say it will be relieved when walking uphill when walking up. yes and it's often associated with limb numbness 
Right. Yeah. There is a peripheral vascular disease. It's a claudication pain. It's of cramping type and it's mm -hmm. more in thigh. Uh, calf, thigh and buttocks. Yeah. And it is brought on by exercise and relieved with rest, like you said. And it's also exacerbated by uh, cold weather, walking uphill and uh, walking faster. So that becomes worse. These are the basic symptoms. Like patient kept on telling because of cold weather, it becomes worse. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. What should be the management of this patient? You told patient that you'll do some test. What else? Bell is gone, but we are discussing and then I'll yeah, give you yeah, feedback. Sure. <laughs> so I, I would, um, management will include the uh, three physical examination and then um, I will follow that by, uh, I, I would do an ankle. Uh, what scans would you do considering do, it's, yes? I could do a, claudication. Yeah, I could do a, a, a duplex yes, ultrasound. Venous uh, or arterial? I will do a venous duplex. Arterial. Arterial duplex. Yes. Yeah, arterial duplex. And uh, I can also do ankle brachial uh, uh, test, ABPI, uh, to see what is their yes. Uh, index, yes. uh, pressure index. Uh, that should be done first because it's non invasive. Yeah. Okay. Any, any advantage of doing CT angiography or MR angiography? You need to yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sorry. I'm not okay. away. I'm but yeah. if you people have booked for February, so this is not the way, you know. And one more thing, okay, coming to your history taking, you started off very well. You were doing it very well. You asked, but uh, you didn't ask the character of the pain. Uh, if it is shooting pain or is it throbbing pain or the type of pain patient is having and secondly whenever it's because it's a severe pain then you uh, on the scale of one to ten you have to ask the patient when it gets worse then what is your worst between the scale of zero to ten so just to see what patient says okay uh, this is one my concern that you could have asked otherwise all the questions were relevant you asked the site you asked the onset you asked the radiation you asked any associated factors, you asked about the timing, etc. everything, okay? So that was good. And then uh, what I wanted that at the end, you should have hurried up a little bit and at the end you should have asked uh, three things, ice, idea, concern and expectation. First, what you should ask, what is your idea of your condition from patient? And then what, do you, uh, what are you concerned about? What are you worried about? And then what are your expectations from us? And then you cannot tell the patient that you'll do what, but then you'll say, okay, I'll get, I'll tell you what, uh, how we can help you. Quickly finish it off when bell goes within six minutes, and then, then tell me in 30 seconds your history, a summary of your history, and then answer the remaining questions. So everything we have to practice to do it within eight minutes. Absolutely. Right. So that is our, our test to do it within given time and we have to practice on it otherwise like your vocabulary is good you can ask questions in many he didn't ask if patient had any yes to rule out if patient had any urination or defecation problem that yeah all right you could have asked okay if patient yeah uh, how would you rule out if patient had hello yes please yeah, ma'am, Dr. Suman. Actually, yes, please, please. Uh, first, he's, he didn't ask about any back pain, uh, first thing. Second thing, he didn't ask about any involvement of bowel, bladder, or any yes. numbness related to neurological disease. He should be, have been asked about that. Yes. You have to rule out the, in history, about vascular and neurogenic claudication. Yes. Sure. Yeah. So, Dr. Muhammad, you can write down all the points, or you can, you'll hear again in, I'll try my best to upload it before I go to bed. You can hear again and you can improve yourself. And then uh, while sitting alone, set the timer for six minutes and try pretend doing it yourself. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. At least 30 times I tell my members, everyone, uh, they should practice each station 30 times. And then before exam, you'll become perfect.
hopefully very hopefully. good yes. thank you we'll we'll do again uh, stay in contact don't uh, disappear okay no no absolutely <laughs> yes thank you so much thank all right